Uh, so today we're doing breast augmentation and vaser high def 4D, four dimension uh, to the abdomen and superior iliac crest and buttocks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an incision underneath the breast here. Good morning, so today what we're gonna be doing is breast augmentation and then vaser high def of the abdomen, superior iliac crest and lower back. So first of all, we're gonna be doing a high def uh, vaser lipo to this patient's abdomen, sculpting out her abdomen. She wants sort of a rock hard athletic look. And so basically I'm gonna sculpt out this line right in here, okay? I'm gonna sculpt out these semi-lunaris lines on the side, okay, right in there. I'll just let you know the method of really okay. Sculpt out the uh, semi-lunaris muscles here. And then I'm also gonna come in with the transverse inscriptions right in there and sculpt out our six pack right in there to give her a really defined uh, abdomen. I'm also gonna get rid of a lot of the fat on the lower portion here and also sculpt out the waistline in here to give her more of an hourglass. Then we're gonna continue that on the back and then I'm gonna come up to the breast and make an incision, it's a very small incision underneath the breast there to slip in our implants right up into there. She wants to go out to about a 300 uh, cc implant underneath the muscle silicone, so I think that'll give her a nice rounded out shape. So, let's go to the OR, I'll show you how I do it. So this patient has a pretty slim build, but she really wants an athletic build. So she's eaten right, she's exercised, but she hasn't really gotten that definition to her abdominal wall. So what we're doing here today is we're taking out some of the fat, but sculpting out really the muscles that are underneath it. So we're gonna give her the sculpted six pack abdomen, this really athletic, hardcore look. That's what she's looking for. So you can see right now, she doesn't have much definition at all. So now we're gonna go in and sculpt out the uh, fat and sculpt around the muscles to really accentuate this uh, anterior abdominal wall and sort of the uh, sides and love handles. So now basically inside the vasers, using uh, sound energy to lyse and break all those fat cells apart. And the nice thing it's doing too is it's heating the skin from underneath and causing skin contracture. So it does two things here and uh, each is beneficial when you're trying to define these uh, anterior abdominal walls. So I, I think it's really the best device to sculpt and etch out the uh, anterior abdominal wall. So I've done the uh, vaser um, on the anterior abdominal wall. Now that melted all the fat and heated up the skin, but now I gotta suck out the fat. So I like to use this micro air PAL liposculpture, basically PAL, power assisted liposuction. And uh, the nice thing about this is the it vibrates there and it leads to a better fat yield. So by doing that, by vibrating inside, it uh, gets even more fat out. So we're just gonna come in here and chisel away at this fat for a while and then uh, we'll help define all these abdominal muscles here underneath. So I've been attacking uh, this quadrant right in here, okay? Lower rectus abdominis muscles and the semilunaris muscles right in here, sculpting out this little uh, concavity here. People really like this where they're wearing like a bikini. Uh, they like this little fold, this empty space right in here. And you can see this other side, still, you know, I haven't worked on it, undefined, bulky, jiggly. Here, it's pretty tight. I mean, here we just have skin right on top of muscle. There's, there's no fat left. Here, we have a pretty good amount of fat left. So this is my target, and uh, we'll sculpt this outside to uh, match the sides up. So now I'm gonna work up on this upper portion here, and then come over to the other side.
So I've finished the lower quadrant and the upper quadrant on this side, and you can see her muscles now starting to pop through. She's got the rectus in here, the semilunaris muscle right in there, her semilunaris line right in there. You can see her obliques and her serratus sort of coming in here. So this is nothing but skin on muscle, skin on muscle, no fat left. And then last, we're going to come in and do these transverse insertions to give her a uh, nice six pack. But basically from here up, uh, there's no fat left. Just now we're going to come to the other side. So now I've just completed this half of the body, uh, lower and upper. And uh, you can see nice sculpted out uh, rectus, uh, abdominus muscles, semilunaris muscles, and the external obliques uh, creeping in here. So nice to find. It's already starting to swell. So uh, here, nice and defined. Now I'm going to define uh, this midline here, right in here, uh, linea alba, through this port here, and we're going to define then the transverse inscriptions. on the outside semilunaris. We've done this linea alba in the middle, and now we're gonna do these transverse inscriptions. One, two, and three. she has a very athletic muscular abdomen now and uh, like a rippled uh, six-pack here a super flat tummy basically no fat on her at all okay so now I'm just gonna go work on her sides her love handles and uh, we'll go from there okay so we sculpted out her uh, linea semilunaris here on the sides, the linea alba here in the middle, these transverse inscriptions. Once the swelling goes down, she'll have a really hot body. Uh, everything is nice and tight. There's no fat left, uh, nice flat tummy, much more defined, athletic shape now. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, flip her over on her sides and do the uh, love handles on the back side. So basically she has a very boxy shape. Just goes from her ribs down to her hips. She has no definition in here, pretty much flat. So basically I'm in here with the vader, melting the fat away, and then uh, we're gonna come in and clean up all the fat with regular liposuction and give her more of an hourglass shape to get rid of this box in here, to get rid of all this excess fat. So basically um, we've sculpted out this uh, hourglass for her. You can see there's no fat in here. She has a nice uh, shape now, a nice indentation right here. So uh, we're done here with the uh, hourglass. So now you can see post-op here. Uh, she uh, has a nice defined linea alba right in the middle here. She's got two, four, six pack in there. She's got these semilunaris lines. She's already swelling up because of the nature of the surgery. So once all this swelling goes down, uh, she'll have a nice uh, ripped uh, abdomen, nice athletic look. And uh, now we'll go on and do the breast augmentation. So this is a uh, piece of butter. Butter is sort of like fat. This is our Vaser Pro. Okay, it's at 60%. And these are the little rings on the side that are gonna emit energy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, Vaser Pro inside the butter, like so. And now I'm gonna turn the Vaser on. Oh, are we on? Okay. I'm going to turn it on, and you can hear it, and then as this is going down, you see how the butter is melting at the side there? And I'm going to insert this probe. You can see? See how it kind of just, it just melts through the butter. 
and the butter is analogous to the fat. So that's what it's doing inside. It's just emulsifying the fat. So inside, that's what it does. It just melts the fat away right in front of your eyes. Kind of hypnotizing, huh? I'm gonna come over here. You can see that, boom, cavitates it. All right, so that's what the VasoProbe does. All right.